I'm lucky enough to be off work for a snow day today. Okay, now you're ready for a little trickier one, I'm sure, right? Prove that I do know a little bit, right? It's not all just simple chords. So this one's a lot of double picking, single note kind of thing. You're gonna start with your A string, just, you know. So you got your double picking going here. It's just that third fret on that A string. Now you're gonna use that D string and you're gonna hit that second fret. Second fret, third fret on the A. So let's start it again. So you just hit that third fret again. So, so far, Three notes so far. So after that, you just go open E. You know? Sounds really cool already, you know? It's just. So, what you've done is climbed up from the two, the second fret on the E string, to the third fret on the E string, to the fifth fret on the E string. Second fret, third fret on the A string after that. So you got rest on that fifth fret for just a bit. I do have an open there, but honestly, it's the same note as that one. Your fifth, same ding note, but second to third. I've done I go back and do it again you know so and then you're just gonna climb again to that fifth note to the seventh note, the seventh fret a string so it climbs up one more after that seventh fret to the eighth fret Okay, we're almost through this entire riff, okay? But I'm gonna go through it all again because it, it just has to be in a line. You know, it's just it just it's just a building pattern, you know, or whatever, a pro progression, I suppose. Whatever. I do come back to this. So after that, and then you just do a drop down there.
each I do go back to that second and third it's like it builds to that third to the fifth a, a little build back up to get to the seventh you know take a little bit but it's not very hard really it's just once you know the notes it's pretty simple you know and you'll hear it you know you it'll it sounds right when you get it right you know what I mean so on to the next part This is where I start using chords. This is just the chorus. This is I, I got a real good feeling. So you start with an A, I, which an A again. You're on the D string, G string, and B string. Just you know, just holding that all. drop down from that third on the A to the second on the A. To a G, which is your third fret on the E string. Okay, so you're going back to that A again. You do the same thing you did at the beginning, but we're going to end on a B to a D. B chord, bar chord. So you're on your second fret with the A string. And then on your sixth fret, you've got your ring finger and your pinky on that D and G string. <laughs> your D chord is that triangle pattern showed you before where you're on the G string on the second fret B string third fret with your ring finger and your middle finger is up here on the second fret on the E string right so get used to that chord I mean it's something you just gotta learn you have to you just have to learn it you know it's, it's an important chord it's in so many songs and once you master that D it's, it's good for you. It's good for you. Chicken noodle soup, right? This might be. that D, right? You know, so then the A, three, two, G, so you're kind of playing a B already once you go from that three, your B already is there, but you're just going to change it to a bar chord.
fun with it. 